Jacob's nation, many months ago we received a generous gift sent to us by our friend, the very talented Irene Luxbecker. She sent us a book called Aunt Pearl, written by Monica Collin. She included a sweet handwriting message to us. It read, Dear Glimpse Team, thank you so much for the care and effort you put in the teaching and learning about the world around us. Your thoughtfulness, empathy, intelligence, creativity, and kindness is and will forever be valued and appreciated. And it will make and inspire meaningful change in the world. Anyway, with Village Talk Day fast approaching, our discussions surrounding mental health awareness had led us to the topic of homelessness. When we think of a homeless person, we think about things like not enough money, not enough food, and nowhere to live. But what about mental health? Would better mental health awareness and support help reduce the number of people who end up in poverty and living on the street? Aunt Pearl is a book that wasn't very easy for us as kids to understand or talk about on our own. This book deals with some tough topics like homelessness, mental health, acceptance, and relationships. The story in Aunt Pearl wasn't scary. The story was told in a gentle way, but the ending was a bit confusing. We talked about these topics in class before, and previous Glimpse teams have produced some great videos to help us along. But this book ends kind of suddenly without answering all of our questions. We're used to books that have endings where things get back to normal, a problem is solved, and everybody is happy. We definitely needed our teacher's help when diving into this book. He had a great idea that helped us quite a bit. He suggested that we read many online reviews from readers on websites such as Goodreads and Kirkus. Each review gave us something to focus on and something to either agree with or disagree with. Let's talk a little bit about the story. Aunt Pearl is homeless and she is given a home to live in by her sister, Rose, and her two kids, Dan and Marta. Even though she is different from everybody else, she is still family and she deserves friends. Aunt Pearl arrives one day pushing a shopping cart full of her worldly goods, things that she has collected from other people's trash. Dan noticed a button on Pearl's hat that reads, Normal people scare me. Oh, don't get us started on this topic. What is normal anyway? We need to accept ourselves and each other as we are. Pearl is nothing like her sister Rose. She collects garbage and she lives in a messy, jumbled way. She crams all of her belongings into the house and has trouble following the rules of the house. This creates some negativity for Pearl's and Rose's relationship. They are definitely not comfortable with each other's behavior. The kid, especially Marta, really connect with Pearl in a positive way. She shows them that not everything is garbage, that recycled items can have a second chance, a new purpose. Marta joins Pearl to look for treasure on garbage day. And Pearl shows Marta's camp group how to decorate a coffee table with bottle caps. Eventually, Pearl's quirkiness, her unusual way of looking at the world, and her different way of living doesn't seem to fit with what it's like to live in a neatly organized home as a family. Pearl grows quieter and eventually, Pearl's quirkiness, her unusual way of looking at the world, and her different way of living doesn't seem to fit with what it's like to live a neatly organized home as a family. Pearl grows quieter and disconnected until one morning she's gone. 
We are not given any simple reasons as to why she left. We are not given any simple clues as to what happens next. Where does she go? Will she be alright? Will she come back? The book ends in an open-ended way. According to the online reviews we read, many readers hate the ending. One reader even says that it's not responsible to end a children's book this way. But all these unanswered questions really got us talking. We all agree that the story behind every homeless person is different and it's never simple. We also agree that the things that people who suffer from mental health problems are feeling are never simple. So maybe ending the book without any simple answer is exactly what real life is like. It's a complicated ending to a story about some tough topics. The best summary of this book comes from a reader's online review. It says, this is a story about the experience of loving someone with mental health issues and trying to support them even when you can't understand what they are doing or help them to be more like the person you want them to be. So if you're looking for a great book to help you learn about homelessness and mental health, then Aunt Pro is a very good choice. On behalf of the Glimpse team, We'd like to thank Erin Luxbecker for giving us Aunt Pearl. We wish her well. We want her to be happy and healthy. And we are hopeful that she will reconnect with our family again. Oh, and by the way, Erin Luxbecker, we'd love for you to visit the Glimpse team one day this spring. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye! There's joy. This has been a Glimpse production. Thank you for watching.